TIB Sports, how you doing? David Brown about to break down about David Irving failing his tests. This is not good. Um, facing a four-game suspension. We already got Randy Gregory failing again with the seventh drug test fail. Now, this guy failed. This is not good for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, terrible news, terrible news. I just don't get these players sometimes. You're making millions and millions and millions of dollars. Is drugs worth it? Is it worth it? To put that supplement in your body to do what? To make you feel high? Come on, man. Do things the right way. I don't know what type of drug. I'm not going to speculate. Whether it's weed or whether it's uh, a steroid. The fact that you're putting your uh, career and bottom line on the line for a supplement is ridiculous. You have money. Even if you're not making them top dollars, say you're making seven hundred thousand a year. That's a lot of money. It's most and more Americans. And look at the labor stats. An average American only makes forty grand a year. Crazy, right? Anyway, that's a whole different discussion. And this guy's making seven hundred grand, maybe seven hundred grand, two million. I don't know how much he makes, but that's about the ballpark an average NFL player makes. He get the best trainers. He had the gym. He could call up his teammate who's making the millions. Like, hey, can I hook up with your trainer? Can I train with you? Um, he can get a, a one of the best recipes or hire a cook if you want to. So get a, a good uh, recipe regimen going. And what does he do? He's taking drugs. Now, I don't understand this stuff, man. Even if it's not even drugs. Say they they ban me from eating M&M peanuts. Okay, peanut M&Ms. I love M&Ms. And I, I could eat that every day if I wanted to. And they said, NFL told me, yo, you cannot eat that anymore, or you can't get this money, or you can spend it. Get, look, bye-bye, m &Ms. I'm eating Skittles now. Because I don't understand how a drug is worth your bottom line. It's going to affect your family. Like, NFL changes families' uh, futures, if you understand me. You're building wealth playing this game. Even if you play this game for five years, you're going to have so much wealth if you manage your money right that the next generation won't have to worry about money ever again. That's how powerful these sports leagues are, including baseball, basketball. Um, if you play overseas soccer, you can make millions. And uh, even hockey. You're making millions of dollars. And I just don't understand why are you going to put yourself in a detrimental setting. That's why I don't get Le'Veon Bell. Uh, smoking weed, hurting his team, which cost the Steelers the number one seed. If he played those three games, I think the Steelers would have been maybe 14-2 and two and possibly beat the Steelers. I mean, beat the Steelers. I mean, excuse me. Sorry, I'm going so fast. I meant the Patriots. It could have been a different scenario. They could have got home field advantage for all we know. We don't know that because he was smoking that weed. Now, Josh Gordon, look at him. Smoking that dope. And guess what? He's out the league and he still wasn't he's still not reinstated. Look at Johnny Manziel. He's gone. Uh Justin Blackman. He still hasn't played since 2013, I believe. I'm telling you, drugs is just not worth it. Even how silly these laws can be when it comes to drug and their policies, NFL bylaws, how ridiculous it may sound. If they say no, just follow the rules. I know there's uh political um reasoning make people still do it whatever put that political bs to the side because at the end of the day take care of your family take care of yourself and take care of your future because you're not going to play this game that long uh, average player lasts five years and if you're a running back you only last three so to make as much as you can from this game who cares about super bowls on that the first thing you care about is making that dollar and you're putting that on the line because of a steroid or weed or whatever drug they banned? Come on, man. David Irving's hurting the Dallas Cowboys. He's hurting himself. And I just don't get these players. It's not just him. It's other players in the league to do the same exact thing. And it makes absolutely no sense. How do you feel about this? Do you feel like the players need to be more responsible? Or should be regulations be changed? I don't know. I'm in the middle. I still think that, hey. You're making millions of dollars or 700 grand a year doing a game that you love. Wise up, man. You're a grown man. Do the right thing. Just do the right thing. Comment below.